Hi guys. Uh, good news this week. We've been staying with a family in Italy, a mother with her two sons, their partners, and her older sister living in this house that has been in her family. Uh, she established the house, the grounds, the property with her husband, who died seven years ago. Can't have been very old. Uh, she's uh, The mother is as old as I am, and he, you know, so seven years ago he died a young man. Um, do you remember what it was? That, was it a heart attack? Or? A heart attack. But they had uh, gelo, gelo, gelaterias, gelato stores. They're everywhere here. And uh, so he was a maker of gelato and they had several stores. Now, the tragedy is that he died seven years ago. Once he died, uh, then the, the daughter, the youngest daughter, who I believe was 18 at the time, disappeared. Um, and Jessapina told us that she was, you know, she went to a shop and she never came home. So for seven years, she had, was missing. Didn't there was a police investigation, a hunt for her. Nothing showed up. The family had no clue what happened to her. And then shortly after that, it wasn't too long after that, that Jessapina's older daughter, thirty-three years old, with two beautiful boys. She died. A, uh, something, some illness got her and she was struck down and again I think overnight she was dead. Then the husband of the daughter who died, he was killed in a motorcycle accident. The boys themselves, two beautiful grandbabies, were taken away by the Italian equivalent of child services, whatever, and they were placed in an orphanage and all contact with Jessapina and her family was cut off. Jessapina had eight children. Now, Yar, of course, uh, when we got here, before learning about this, we did. he did the distance in time between Jessapina and her older sister Louisa. And what were the results, babe, with Jessapina? Uh, Jessapina, <coughs> she's um, 537 uh, weeks younger than I, and that's a distance into the uh, far wall of the King's Chamber through the Great Pyramid. Her older sister, Louisa, she's uh, uh, 1694 days uh, younger than I, and that is, uh, of course, uh, Matthew 123, Emmanuel, and uh, Emmanuel is, uh, of course, God with us. So that's what's happened to the family. We showed up and they had God with them, and uh, it's all preordained. So I, when I found out that this uh, young girl is missing, went to the shop one night and never come home. Um, I said, well, we're going to do something about it. So we put the angels to work and uh, two days ago uh, she was found. So. Yes, that's the good news. She was found alive, well. The circumstances seem a, a bit bizarre, but Jessapina's had, um, she had a meeting with, the daughter seems to be in a situation where she's caring for somebody who is mentally ill, it would seem like. Anyway, the, a meeting was had, what, two, two yes. nights ago, yeah. two days ago, and then another one, was it yesterday? Yes. Oh, there was another meeting, to, but she is not far away, she is alive and well, and uh, of course, Jessapina is rejoicing, as is uh, one of the sons, of course, with all of the tragedy, one of, one of the sons himself, who has an autoimmune disease, where he has to be on cortisone pills daily to give him strength and energy to continue. And he was the son of, that uh, worked in the shop with his father. So um, he's he, he's been very, when we got here, he said he didn't believe we got here. He was totally shocked because we're telling the family who we are, couldn't get escape. And of course, all the women believe. And uh, the son's beautiful um, partner from Peru, uh, she'd always believed in God. So they, they were overjoyed. And, you know, we're into our third month here. We have not 
uh, been rejected or, or but treated as one of the family. And um, now, so we've treated him with the risk. I can honestly system. say I've never been treated with so much love. Mm. I mean, I walked in oh. just the two sisters in particular. Yes. That hug and kiss me all the time. And yes, uh, yeah, yeah, they kiss on both cheeks, both of us. That they, they look forward to seeing us. We don't see them every day because uh, we're in the upper room and they're downstairs. But uh, when so we it's do, it's a lovely it's big a, mansion, very run down. Yeah, and of course we're going to straighten that out as well. Yes, lots of uh, restoration on this beautiful property. So that's the good news. Josephina has her beloved daughter. Back, or at least she knows that she's alive and well, and we'll see her soon. Right. Oh, well, that, and this um, where we're staying, the top of the roof to where the Pope was imprisoned is uh, 777 uh, zero, zero, zero inches mm. from that where his room was to ours. Mm. So you could say, well, 777. Seven 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 inches. If, you know, you walk around a bit, you get it right on the button. Mm. So it's all preordained, and uh, our next move, of course, is uh, exposing Francis. Uh, he actually exposed himself when he uh, was told by Pope Benedict that Christ was back, and that uh, he had asked me about Vatican II, and I rewrote Vatican II with forty nine points, and uh, those forty nine points. Uh, the Pope said that it solves all of the Church's problems. Well, basically the uh, Vatican II opened up the way for the Jews and uh, the Sodomites and all other religions to, you don't need Jesus to go to God and uh, dismissing Jesus as God. And of course that's a lot of rubbish. And uh, with Vatican uh, III, what I basically have done is said that the uh, churches will all become health care centres attached to the church. The churches will be restored to the original, um, uh, well, actually Vatican II replaced Vatican I, which is 1400 years old. And it, it had in it all of the church's orientation, the, the type of altars where it had to be and, and how the churches would be built and placed in bells and so forth, pictures. And so it goes back to that tradition. Uh, I said that the masses have to be said in Latin and with an English or a local language translation, but primarily uh, all the health protocols that we have demonstrated to cure all diseases will be in all the churches of the world. And also the Vatican will be now become the holy city of Rome. The Vatican will be done away with. I'm going to destroy that. And uh, it will authorize the printing of money. So money in the... Uh, Western world is fiat currency is based on nothing, whereas uh, money should be based on human resources. And uh, the human resources worldwide, we've got 1.2 billion people, and uh, they live in nations that are very, very wealthy. But of course, the uh, world order doesn't consider the wealth of the people or the wealth in the ground as being uh, the currency, where in actual fact, a uh, Every time you build a bridge or make a road, you increase the wealth of the country and you do that by printing your own money and uh, having fair trade between nations. So this is what's going to happen. Well, this, of course, horrified Francis because he wants to keep the people poor. And uh, being a Jesuit, uh, the idea be behind uh, the Jesuits is that by keeping people poor, they keep in control and the poor are closer to God and therefore when they're walking amongst the misery of the suffering of people, they are closer to God. So the more you are suffering, the more misery that you are in, is the closer to God that you are. And their priest can walk amongst them and be close to God in the flesh. This is how the insanity of it all works. So uh, I'm just doing another upload in the moment. That'll be about Francis. <laughs> so... Good news, absolutely. And uh, we'll be back later with the PowerPoint. <laughs>